Thank you for joining me. My name is Whitney Mead, and today I'm going to lead you through an intercessory prayer for our President Donald Trump. Would you pray with me? Father, we approach your throne of majesty and grace with adoration and gratitude. Thank you for the gift of the United States of America. We live blessed because of the freedoms granted to us by you through the founding of this nation, and we dedicate our lives to upholding its tenets. We collectively kneel before you with humility and ask that you would hear our petitions for our president, Donald J. Trump. Our nation has been in a state of turmoil. The daily battles between right and left, truth and lies have been visible to our eyes. The greater battles, the battles of the heavenlies between light and darkness have been discerned through our spirits. From the night of his election in 2016, it has been apparent that your hand is upon President Trump's shoulder. We pray that you would continually guide President Trump, your Holy Spirit being an ever-present power in his life. We confess to you that as a nation, we have turned away from your ways. Like Israel in the Old Testament, we have wandered from our first love and have turned to idols of our own making. As a nation, we repent and we cry out for your mercy. God, forgive us. Have mercy on us. Hear our pleas and turn your ear towards our cause. In Psalm 116, your word says, I am passionately in love with God because he listens to me. He hears my prayers and answers them. As long as I live, I'll keep praying to him for he stoops down to listen to my heart's cry. Hear our cries, Lord, we pray. We bring intercessory requests to you for President Trump. We pray for his physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual health. If he needs medical care, we ask that you would surround him with the best and brightest doctors. If he needs mental and emotional support, please bring him insightful counselors armed with wisdom like Solomon. When he needs spiritual guidance, surround him with your spiritual generals, mighty men and women of God who will supply him with biblical truth and understanding. We seal this request in the mighty name of our Savior, Jesus Christ. We pray for President Trump's protection, both domestically and abroad. Root out evil from inside the White House, exposing those with a duplicitous agenda and false motives against him and our country. May our intelligence community bring President Trump credible knowledge to outwit the plans of the enemy through other nations, knowing that we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Like Moses, may President Trump find favor in your sight and may you continue to know him by name. May he also find the favor of nations and build strong alliances with discerning leaders across the globe. May these bonds last into future generations. We ask for President Trump to be given the gift of revelation knowledge that comes through the Holy Spirit as a gift to your children. And may that knowledge be deep and profound. May he know how to separate the thoughts of his flesh versus the thoughts of your spirit and begin to crave the intimacy of communication with you throughout his days. May President Trump have a special passion to protect the unborn children of this nation. We pray that under his leadership, that the murder of children in utero and upon birth will become illegal across our country and that you will have mercy upon the people for supporting it for so long. God, please gift President Trump with the keys to unlock the greatest era of American history ever experienced. May our upcoming decades exceed 
our wildest expectations. We praise you for the knowledge that sin and death are defeated by Jesus Christ alone. And we ask that our nation will live from a heavenly perspective of this understanding. We pray for a blanket of heavenly wisdom to descend upon the capital that by just walking upon the land, people will be touched by your grace and by your love. We pray and intercede for Washington, D.C. to become a beacon of hope instead of a symbol of deception. And we take back the ground that has been stolen by Satan for his evil purposes. Expose, expose, expose. Expose all of the sinister secrets and hidden agendas of Satan and the leaders of this country who have chosen to partner with his plans. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. May President Trump become a megaphone to declare your truth across the globe. May he continue to speak your great name upon his lips and place a burning coal of knowledge into his mouth. Give the people of the United States of America ears to hear and turn our nation back to you. We pray that the shouts of the wolves will be stifled by the peace of God's chosen people. We lay the marriage of President Trump and the First Lady before your throne. Please bless their union and allow them to experience the fullness of your grace in their relationship. May they work as partners together for the betterment of America and strengthen their bond as they have never experienced before. We pray this scripture over their lives today. Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. Deepen their love and give them parallel vision as they lead together. We pray that the generational legacy of the Trump family will be secure and that you will guide his children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren in your ways. May they be known as a family of believing leaders, always honoring you and your son and putting your will at the forefront of their choices. Strengthen their family ties and give them peace and unending joy. We ask for sharp clarity and eagle-like vision for the president. May he always see the truth clearly and have the tenacity and resolve to make the right choices even when they make him unpopular. Give him supernatural energy resources and fortify his body and his mind whenever he feels weak. Gift him with the gift of peaceful slumber. You grant sleep to those that you love. We pray that the president's relationship with Vice President Pence will be full of the mutual exchange of ideas, vigilance and reasoning, full of good humor and trust. May they become like brothers to one another and may the positive attributes of both of them wear off on each other. Above all, we pray that President Trump will experience a personal relationship with Jesus Christ and will find his truest comfort and solace in you, God. Thank you for the gift of our president, Donald J. Trump. And may this prayer find its yes and amen in Christ Jesus alone and in his words. And I will do whatever you ask in my name so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Father, may you always receive the glory and the honor and the praise. Please bless America for the sake of your great name. Amen.